Hello and welcome everybody. It is Fallen. Just looking at a peaceful, serene, arctic biome, you know, just enjoying it and then realizing that I'm on the SMB server. And I am loving it. Anyway, this is sort of my guess what I uh, got on the server, even though you already know because of as of Impulse's video, but I'm on the server anyway, so this is my first episode ever to film on the server, so this is going to be our Let's Play number one for the SMB server. Hopefully there'll be more than one. I'm not going to really give a tour because Impulse and them have already done that, so I guess I'm just going to show the projects I'm currently working on just as a quick update video. This will be a short video, and then in the future there'll be longer Let's Plays. So first off, I just wanted to show the uh, cafeteria we're working on. I started putting quartz around and this tile throughout the floor, and I guess Impulse, I believe it was, finished it off, and someone put the wool and brick, and then I started putting this smooth stone design around the edges. But down here is where we're going to put the auto farms, etc., like the auto chicken farms, auto wheat farm, pumpkin carrot, those kind of things. So now if we head back upstairs I guess I will go and show you my room because I guess it's necessary it'd be nice to let everyone know where I live so let's head down here past everyone's room maybe flipping the dragon egg I've done that so many times you guys don't have no idea I wonder if it's starting to get on their nerves <laughs> anyway this is me and Cass's room Cass is awesome by the way this is my room got my insanely awesome storage that really only using one chest right now got that got that so here's my armor I got my decent helmet meh chest meh leggings and my feather falling boots because they have realized how much I fall hence the name then I have the fallen sword notice it doesn't have a W because I messed up when naming it and then this is my bow it's a fallen bow my diamond shovel and my pickaxe and then just an axe that I'm using next thing I'm gonna show you is I think where I'm doing a mega build on the server I'm going to be and I've just barely found the location for it it was actually in that um, arctic biome I was showing you guys so let me head over there so you can see oh um hello that's interesting. <laughs> it must have followed me in through the, one of the doors. I, I don't know. Where did he come from? Oh, well. Anyway, for my place I'm going to... Ooh, wait. Is it this way? Or is it that way? I think it's... It is this way. Give me a second here. Little turned around. Gotta see. I think there's also an Arctic biome out that way. And that's where I'm going. So, let me just... Hop around here, eat some baked potatoes, and stare at the kitties. Very nice uh, biomes, biosphere going over there. Almost here. And my mega build is going to be the build I've attempted before called the Pillars of the Earth, is what I want to build. And it's going to be four massive pillars with a beacon star in the middle. Pretty excited for it. And if I'm correct, I chose my decided build a place over here somewhere. I put a chest to show that that's where I was going to be building and I have no... oh, yep, see there's a sign. And... my chest! So yeah, this is this is the huge project so far! Haven't even done anything! I have not really had much time to be on, honestly, because school's ending, doing all my making sure I'm passing classes stuff. Biosphere is cut in half for some reason. Anyway, this is where my big project will be. So we'll be working here. And then if we head on back over. If I can get a good ender pearl, there we go. I will show you the other project I have been working on with the weird biosphere. Anyway, so let's head back over here. That, as you know, is the tunnel of which they showed off that I was here. Yee. Anyway, my other project is in spawn, B 
because of the spawn chunks keeping it fully loaded. And I've started building an auto pumpkin farm, but I am, give me that experience, really unsatisfied with its rates, and I have completely redesigned a new one. So, what I'm about to show you at the spawn, I'm going to need to tear down and then build the new one. And believe it or not, this will be the third attempt because I've already built one before. So, oh well, it's all about getting getting it right, trial and error. But, like I said, the one I'm about to show you will be torn down because I have a newer, better idea with more rates. So let me head out here. Cass has been building a stuff here. <laughs> I'll let him do his thing with that. This is the auto farm. It uh, cycles on a day when it turns day period. Runs off a very simple uh, switch down here. If I'll just show you. Where, see this turns off at night. When it turns on in the what the heck? That's weird. Anyway, that wasn't supposed to be there. But I'll just demonstrate. Um, this turns off, and then during the day, when it when it hits morning, it cycles. And what it does is that these these blocks are on top of pistons that pulse up, breaking the pumpkins. And then a simple clock here, as you can see, runs the these pistons pull back. No, I can't even speak. The water drops down and pushes the drops into the hopper chain over into this chest. So let me just replicate a day cycle so as you can see and then what the heck has someone been messing with my stuff oh well I can tell someone's been doing something because there was a lever down there there is not supposed to be a lever but we'll try again see what's going wrong here oh well anyway the pumpkins then with the water fall down into this little chain that then feed the pumpkins into here and apparently it's been used for wheat <laughs> anyway this will be torn down and a better more efficient pumpkin farm will be built in this same area and that is all the projects I'm working on right now I have more uh oh I didn't think about that I have more projects planned but it, I don't want to start any more than I've already started because of all the amount I already have to work on. So, in conclusion of this episode, I just want to thank the SMB server people for letting me on. And this is Fallen, signing out.